Alright, I'm getting ready to do the uh, experiment over. So my temperature here with the hot water is about 110 degrees. And see what the cold is. So 110, something in the 40s. Okay, so the final read on it was 45 degrees on that one, and uh, 110 on that one. And uh, I'm gonna, like it's obvious the, there's things floating in there now. I put, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, it might be xylem husks. They're a, some sort of a chaff that comes off of wheat, and uh, I wanted to be able to see movement even after the two fluids had churned and uh, changed color. So, uh, just trying to get an idea how much, how much time that the fluid spins for. Got my battery powered light for inside the freezer. During the experiment, I got a plastic plate on the bottom and handy espresso saucers that I'm going to set on the top to try and stop the uh, the direct heat loss out the bottom and the top because I saw something that uh, that that was one of the effects that if you're trying to cancel out one of the effects that you'd want to uh, control it. So, I'm waiting a few minutes here on the timer uh, so that I know that neither one of these fluids are moving inside before they go in the freezer. Uh, after some testing beforehand, I noticed that they would stop movement nearly completely in five minutes. So we're waiting for that to happen, and then uh, we'll be moving on. Okay, so timer's almost up there. Uh, one of the things that I'm also doing is, because the camera got cold and stopped working after a short period of time, I'm going to bag it. So you will be inside here. And we're about to go to the point where we just keep running. i to get the... Uh, Dangly cord on inside there. Hello, I'm the experimenter. You will be seeing very little of me. It's go time. Alright, so let the freezer with you. Hopefully that light will bounce around off the Got it in a spot where it won't be too big a deal of a heat source.
rusty window here. Decompressing. And I'm sick of waiting, so what I'm going to do instead. So I'm going to measure the temperature of each one. So, camera stayed warm inside, so let's get some measurements going here. Drop it in cold fluid, which by the way, fully mixed, unlike the last one. Let's see how close to 32 we get. On a 34 there. Alright, let's see if the other one warms up. Ooh. Okay, so we're looking at 39 degrees on the hot cup. And thirty five degrees on the cold cup. Thirty four, okay. So we got a five degree difference still. Hmm. Interesting. All right, shut you off. 